What up, though? And welcome back to Old School Hip Hop Head Real Reacts. I also have another YouTube channel called Reels Reactions. And on that YouTube channel, it's 99% old school golden era hip hop. So if you're ever in the mood to watch some old school hip hop, all you have to do is go to my home page, click this link I have in a banner that says Reels Reactions right here, and voila, you back in the golden era. All right, man. So today's reaction is a subscriber request. Uh, Marv Gotti is the person who requested this joint. So shout out to Marv Gotti for this request. This is Grave Diggers. Mommy was a grave digger. Um, so it looks like there's three different versions of this song. Uh, that's what Marv Gotti, uh, he made me aware of that in a comment. Uh, I think it was today or yesterday. So we got the Prince Paul mix, the RZA mix, and the uptight crate diggers mix. All right, so three different versions of this song. So I ain't gonna do too much talking. I wanna try to see what's the difference between these two songs, and maybe we'll do a little challenge, see which one is the best, you know what I mean? Which version of the song is the best. So we are gonna start out with Prince Paul, all right? So let's get it. All right, man, here we go with the Prince Paul version of Mommy What's a Grave Digger. And for those of you who don't know, Prince Paul is a legendary producer from the golden era. This is him right here, uh, right here in the background, right here. All right? I don't know the uh, members' names of the Grave Diggers. I know this is RZA. And, um, you know, I'm not a big horrorcore rap fan, so I don't know much about the Grave Diggers. So I don't know these two niggas' names. But I do know this is the RZA from the Wu-Tang Clan, you know what I'm saying? A.K.A. the Abbott, A.K.A. Bobby motherfucking Digital. You know what I'm saying? Uh, this nigga got like 10 names, but, you know, those are some of my favorites. <laughs> but anyway, man, enough talking. We got three joints to go through. So let's get to it, starting with the Prince Paul version. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. One, two. You ready? You ready? You ready? You ready? Yo, this Yo, one goes yo, out to Prince, Prince Paul. Paul. Prince Paul. My man, Fuquan, the gatekeeper. Okay. Prince Rock, Prince Rock, Prince Rock. That's the RZA. I didn't hear the last name. Soul enters the next stage. Reality becomes obsolete. You have nothing to fear. Nothing to fear. Walking in the shadows, you realize that life is nothing but a form of animated death. And to my right is the one that they call. The Grim Reaper, the Grim Reaper. Sparks through the dark, I'm digging in the dirt, or digging in your brains or your skirt. Burying the past is a very hard task. I make loot and now everybody's digging up dirt. I spark the night like a roster with reefer, and to my right is the gatekeeper. Here the comes the keeper. one, the one wicked son from the slums. That's how I do when the great. Oh, that's the RZA right there. With reefer, and to my right is the gatekeeper. Here the comes the keeper. one, the one wicked son from the slums. That's how I do when the grave digger crew comes. For example, leaving caucus bliss. Half hypnotized with my mark on their wrist. The protector, spectre of death, the selector is the RZA, the RZA. Bliss. Half hypnotized with my mark on their wrist. The protector, spectre of death, the selector is uh. the RZA, the RZA. The bloody ferocious attack. Oh, that's it. It's a quick verse. Oh, wait, that's still here. The bloody ferocious attack hits the body. Explosive diagnosis is fatal. Like multiple sclerosis. Always knock the focus. Play nigga, nigga. Best to keep the focus. Fucking up the tracks like the fist of the white lotus. Catch a trick and locus if they ever try to smoke this. Grave digger. Oh, that's it? Oh, that was mad short. Alright, man, yo, that joint ended mad abruptly, you know what I mean? <laughs> yo, I didn't realize it was a minute and 45 seconds. Yo, right when I started to get into the Rizzo's uh, verse, uh, that shit ended, man. Uh, yo, alright, yo, I ain't gonna, like I said, I ain't gonna do too much talking. I'm gonna do the whole ranking of these joints at the end of uh, at, when I'm done with all three. But yo, I was fucking with that beat by the boy uh, Prince Paul, you know what I mean? That beat was that beat was all right, yo. I'm fucking with that beat. So yo, he set the bar high on his production. The lyrics, I'm not even listening to this for lyrics because 
you know, I think the RZA sucks, you know what I mean? <laughs> Once I heard that Bobby Digital shit, I don't even know if I, I, I might have listened to it one time and just frisbee that shit out my motherfucking window, son. That's what I used to do back in the day. It was so much heat coming out in a, uh, in a, in a, in a nineties and early two thousand, son. When some whack shit came out, nigga, I would roll my window down and, and throw that motherfucking CD out like a goddamn frisbee on the highway, you know what I'm saying? Um, so, yo, I don't fuck with Bobby Digital on the mic, son. I strictly fuck with my nigga on the, on the beats. All right, yo, let's move on to the next uh, version of this song. Let's see what we're going to do. Next, we're going to do the RZA version. Fuck it. We're going to go in the order that we saw on the, uh, on, the, on, the, on, the, on the record label right here. All right, yo, let's see what the fuck the RZA did with this. Mommy, 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 what's a grave digger? 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 Mommy, what is a grave Yo, I had a nightmare that I slept for a light year in a thousand locusts that like crawl inside my right ear. <laughs> I found myself trapped inside of a circle Surrounded by 40 wicked women Who was all dressed in purple Damn. I promised they were harmed the nation With the abominations The fortifications The doctrinations Of intoxications At that moment I realized who was my opponent It was God from Magar He said he wanted to slay God He brought his wrath to Did he say he recognizes his, op his opponent? So it sounded like my nigga the, uh, Bobby Digital Been abducted by a bunch of bad bitches You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> but these bad bitches ain't up to no good. I mean, these bad bitches is up to no good, you know what I'm saying? My opponent, it was causes of intoxications. At that moment, I realized who was my opponent. Oh. It was God from Magar. He said he wanted to slay God. He wanted his wrath to from his equal 39th chapter. He wanted to fight to my skull. So they go catch my soul. My body got drawn to a life of reform. As my essence try to squeeze. Your body, body got what? Equal 39th chapter. He wanted to fight to my skull, so they go catch my soul. My body got drawn to a life of reform as my essence try to squeeze through the crack of dawn. But I'm uh. trapped in the void. While I saw down to the paranoid. Hold on, hold on, hold on. He said something about his body get changed to a different type type of form, and he trying to squeeze through the essence. Like, yo, what the fuck, nigga? This shit's <laughs> yo. This shit's kind of fire. Yo, this shit kind of dope, yo. You got to suspend all imagination, you know what I mean? But, yo, it's Bobby Digital, of course, yo. Back that up a little bit, nigga. My soul, my body got drawn to a life of reform. As my essence try to squeeze through the crack of dawn. But I got Damn. something to avoid. My essence try to squeeze through the crack of dawn. Damn. He the slay God. He brought his wrath to from his equal 39th chapter. He wanted to fight to my skull, so they go catch my soul. My body got drawn to a life of reform. As my essence try to squeeze through the crack of dawn. But uh. I got trapped in the void. While I saw down to the paranoid humanoids. Who's low in this space like asteroids. Damn. The in my head was excruciating. It must have been a dust that had me hallucinating. Now I was facing Satan. <laughs> and you were the over who killed Kennedy. In the what? Of the <laughs> Yo, so is this, is this like an, uh, what do you call that? Not a, not an illusion, but I don't know. I can't think of the word right now because I'm high. But that nigga said he just uh, is he having a dream or is he or did he wake up and realize he's talking to Satan? I think he said he was having a dream or some shit like that. I yo, this is all this shit is crazy right now. <laughs> Pain in my head with excruciating. It must have been that dust that had me hallucinating. Oh, that I was facing Satan and he was the baby. <laughs> <laughs> all right, son. All right, son. <laughs> I, I think we know what the fuck is going on now. I think my nigga, like he said, I think this nigga's hallucinating because of all the motherfucking dust that he was smoking. You know what I mean? We know that the wool was smoking woolers, but that's cocaine uh, mixed and sprinkled in your blunt. You know what I mean? Uh, or crack sprinkled in your blunt. Uh, but yo, this nigga said there was all that dust he was smoking. Now, one day he having arguments with God. And now he talking to Satan and shit. This nigga dusted the fuck out his mind. You know what I mean? <laughs> Damn. space like asteroids. my head 
A lot of shit in there. He said something about the uh, first lessons he learned in 120, which is five percent, is uh, is about who the creator was. You know what I mean? Uh, who the spiritual being and all that kind of five percent talk. You know what I'm saying? That was yo. That shit was better than I thought it was gonna be. You know what I mean? Like I was mad, confused in the beginning. Like what the fuck is this nigga talking about? And then when that nigga said he was dusted, you know what I mean? That nigga was elevating this motherfucking mind. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm a believer in drugs, you know what I'm saying? I only smoke weed, but I believe that everybody should do psychedelics except for me. You know what I mean? <laughs> Elevate your mind state, nigga. You know what I'm saying? So it sounds like that does have my nigga elevated, or as Keith Murray would say, lifted. You know what I mean? All right, let's keep it moving. What, uh, what these other two niggas got to say? All right, before this nigga raps, yo, that verse was whack as fuck, my nigga. <laughs> whack. That verse is whack too. So it looked like the RZA is the, is the best MC in the bunch, yo. Which ain't saying a lot. Ah. Talk that shit. I don't know who that was, but that verse was whack too. You know what I mean? He started out right though, but talking that eighty-five percent talk. You know what I mean? The dumb, deaf, and the blind. If you don't know, you better go listen to that Wu Tang forever and listen to Papa Wu break that shit down. Nigga. All right, let's keep it moving. All of my words, I just come the barbarian. I don't come to justify all of my words. I just come to crush the lies that you were served. Turning your devotional hymn to number ten. You was washed in the blood. To be cleansed, so I'm grim. Has passed the pork, shot clocks of ends. Your moms and your pops are singing a gospel hymn. Stop the Jews on a mentally enslaved figures who dig up the tracks of a grave digger. No. <laughs> All right, man, there it is, the RZA version of Mommy, What's a Grave Digger. And, yo, like I said, RZA had the best verse on there, and I'm sure I would have to listen to that verse 20 more times to really comprehend everything that he was saying. But, yo, I was fucking with the story. He was doing some storytelling, that motherfucker. Turns out he was telling a story of a nigga, uh, a motherfucking angel dust, but it was a story nonetheless, you know what I mean? All right, so now let's get to this. Uh, what's the other version? Hold on, let's see. What's the name of this shit? 
the uptight crate digger mix. So I don't know who produced this one. Yo, if Prince Paul produced the Prince Paul mix and RZA produced the RZA mix, who produced the uptight crate digger mix? Did the motherfucking other two grave digger niggas names who I don't know produce this shit? I don't know. But let's get to it. The pentagram, the pentagram, and the moon is full today. As your soul enters the next stage, reality becomes obsolete. You have nothing to fear. Nothing oh. to fear. I'm fucking with this beat though. Shadows, you realize that life is all right, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I ain't even heard the beat yet, yo. I should let the bass line drop, but I'm not. So uh, the first two mixes, the Prince Paul and the RZA joint, that was a cool beat, you know what I mean? But I it sounded kind of southern to me, you know what I mean? Maybe West Coast, not California, not uh, L.A., but more like Bay Area, West Coast, or uh, or uh, southern, you know what I mean? This right here, just from the intro, I'm feeling like this is going to be some East Coast boom bap type shit, you know what I mean? I want to need to know produce this. Walking in the shadows, <clears throat> you realize that life is nothing but a form of animated death. Yep. That's that East Coast. Ooh. Hold on, son. Yo, this sound like Red Man. This sound like Red Man on the production, son. Yo, go back and listen to the beginning of There Is a Dark Side. You know what I'm saying? I'm from six million feet from beneath or some shit like that. Ooh. That's, I can hear the beat in my head. I just can't think of the song. But anyway, man, all right. It's nothing but a form of animated death. And to my right is the one that they call the Grim Reaper. The Grim Reaper. Squawk through the dark by digging in the earth for deep. Get in your brain or your skirt. Alright, so I guess one of these grave digger niggas' names is the Grim Reaper. What's the other one's name? They call the Grim Reaper. The Grim Reaper. Squawk through the dark by digging in the earth or deep. Get in your brain or your skirt. Every in the past is a very hard task. I mean, cash and now everybody's digging up dirt. I spark the mic like a roster with reefer. Darkness and light both bleed out the speaker. The Reaper's context is not. From the tomb, bodies are consumed as I rip the immune collected some. Ooh, he changed his verse on this bitch. Yo, when that nigga came on, the whole fucking vibe of the song changed, yo. Damn. Who would ever thought the RZA would make me feel that? You know what I'm saying? Pause. But uh, yo, that first nigga was just dog shit, I guess. You know what I mean? He he got he got the RZA coming on the track like he motherfucking hove or some shit. <laughs> Let me back it up. I like how he switched his flow from the other version, though. The two intellect gate keepers up from the one, the one wicked son from the tomb. Bodies are consumed as I rip the immune collected subject. Focus are perfected. Devils know I'm hectic. Foes are disconnected. Your brain wash they narrate new markets to target. I cut you open wide like a carpet. Your brain wash they what? New markets? Yeah, this is my type of beat right here. Ooh, the more is hard, nigga. There we go. Listen to the horns in the background. Yo, that remind me of uh, Cypress Hill right there. Right there. Need a 
grave digger. Bobby, what's a grave digger? 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 Bobby, what's a The first Jews when I mastered when I learned 120. The biochemical author. Yo, I was fucking with that beat on that uptight crate digger mix, yo. I don't know who produced that joint, but that shit right there was John Blaze, son. I wonder if Redman did that on the low. Anyway, yo, there it is, yo. The three different versions of Mommy Was a Grave Digger by the Grave Diggers. Like, I, uh, um, <clears throat> it's got to be pretty obvious uh, by this point. Number three was my favorite one. And uh, number one and two, I'm going to say those is tied. Uh, the Prince Paul mix, we only got to hear a minute and 45 seconds of it. And this is, it, it was the longest version of the three. So, yo, I'm going to put that shit on Marv Gotti because that's the link that he sent me. You know what I mean? So, yo, Marv Gotti, what up, though? Uh, you know, but anyway, so uptight, quick digger mix, that's my shit right there. The other two, you know, I'm going to get them motherfuckers a tie. All right? On to the next one, I'm out.